Yo, what's up, y'all? Freightline Trucker Tire here. I, yo, look, when I became a truck driver, and I realized that in the truck stops, everything is overpriced because everybody thinks you got money, even the truck stops, and they want all your fucking money. So the price is jacked up on shit. So I always said I wanted me a headset. So my favorite headset at that time was Blue Tiger. But when I seen Blue Tiger prices <laughs> at the fucking truck stop, I said, hell fucking no. So, I went on eBay, and I ordered one from China, like $25, $25, $50 and shit. Uh, look, just like Blue Tiger, I said, hell yeah, that's the one I want. Got it. Everything worked. No problem. Sounded good. Broken three months. <laughs> three fucking months. That shit was broke. I said, well, damn, maybe it was just a defective one. I'll order another one. Order another one. Worked in six months, died. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe that one's defective too. Third time's a charm. Nope, third time was bullshit. Six months again, died out. So I was like, what the fuck? I was like, okay, I done spent like $150 on Chinese headsets. That's a replica of the shit that's in the truck stop for about the same fucking price. I said, you know what? I'm just bite the bullet. I'm going to get me a fucking blue tiger out the fucking truck stop. Kick out the money, get the fucking headset. That shit works for like six to eight months and then breaks. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I say, like, this shit came out the truck stop and it's lasting just as long as the shits that came from China. So I was like, hell no. I'm, I'm not the type of guy to, to let shit like that slide when you spend that kind of money for a product that should last longer than that. So I called the company. They said, oh, okay, uh, well, what we can do for you is you can send us the headset and we'll send you a refurbished one. And I was like, why well, I got to send y'all the, the, my old headset to get a refurbished one uh, for half the price of what they were selling in the truck stops? And this is what the lady told me. This is the bullshit she tried to kick to me. She said, um... Oh, well, we just don't want uh, people out there uh, selling uh, broke headsets on eBay and shit. And I'm thinking to myself, like, mm, I'm from the hood. A lot of hustlers in the hood. This sounds like bullshit. No, I wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, okay, they're just, re they're just fixing the headset you give them. And then they'll give you another one that they done fix from uh, some, uh, somebody else's shit they done fix. And get to you for half the price. So, I did it anyway. I said, okay, whatever. Uh, half the price. Shouldn't shouldn't hurt. The motherfucker lasts six months and then breaks. So, I said, what the fuck? So, I call up the uh, uh, the company again. I said, yo, y'all refurbished shit just broke on me in six months again. And she was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry um, for the inconvenience. What we can do is... You can give us the headset back, and we can give you a refurbished one <laughs> for the same price, which was like half the price of the uh, Blue Tag in the truck stop. And I said, hmm, this bullshit again. I said, let me find out this shit breaks on me again in six months. So I pay for, I send them the old shit again, pay for, pay for another refurbished one from them. Seven months broke i said yo fuck this shit fuck <laughs> fuck this i done spent like i don't even know how much money in headsets probably like three four hundred fucking dollars in headsets all together and now i'm fucking pissed so i'm talking to all the truck drivers trying to figure out okay what's the most reliable fucking headset and every every other truck driver i kept getting was saying blue parrot blue parrot blue parrot now the only reason i got blue tiger was because i thought it looked better than blue parrot only to find out Blue Parrot is more reliable. So, I get the Blue Parrot. Last two to three years. Get another one. Last another two to three years. I'm like, shit, hell yeah. That's what the fuck. But the problem with Blue Parrot I had was that, uh, like, you dropped that motherfucker or some shit. It, like, it was, it was easily breakable. You sit on that motherfucker by accident or whatever, crack, boom, it's done. Uh, what I got now is um, Clear Drive by Rand McNally. Uh, this is the one, I think, is the 220. 
I think it costs about $250. This shoe is pretty good. I like it. The only problem is you can't drop it. <laughs> you can't even drop it once because what happens is uh, you drop it once and the buttons will fall inside the headset. Now, um, I was told that Ram, you can send it off to Ram and Nally and they'll fix it or might give your ass a refurbished one. <laughs> but um, talking to most truck drivers, now look, I'm not advocating, I'm not advocating for you to do this shit. I'm just telling you what truck drivers told me they do. What I was told was truck drivers will take their old headset they would, and put it inside. They would keep all, when they buy their headset, they'll keep the box and everything. And they'll put it back into a box. And um, they'll go buy a new one and then send the old box back to the truck stop and say, oh, it don't work. And then either get a refund or an exchange for another headset. So they'll have a brand new headset and then a brand new headset from uh, what they exchange. But the problem is, the problem with that is sometimes the truck stop will look at the headset and say, oh, looks fine, and put it back on the shelf. So <laughs> when the next truck driver comes and buys the shit, he's going to be bringing it right back and says, this shit don't work. And the cycle just continues and continues and shit so i'm not advocating you to go buy a headset and then put your old broken one into the box and then go get an exchange or a refund for it even though truck stops do take a lot of money from us i'm i'm just saying i'm not advocating you to do the shit but yeah um so more of the story is do your homework, do your research, get you a good headset the first fucking time so you don't lose money or go through the same bullshit I went through with these motherfuckers. And goddamn, don't drop your shit. Don't drop your shit. Don't accidentally uh, step on it. Don't overcharge that motherfucker all the time. And that's one way to fight the system. <laughs> the system out here while they trying to rob us left and right. Um, and always remember... Speed, time, distance, I'm out.